welcome back to another one um today i am going to be showing you guys how we make pizza in the village without an oven mm -hmm. without an oven this is the old-fashioned way of baking and when i'm here and i feel like i'm craving something i use that method at all times so i'm going to be showing you i'm going to show you guys how to make a pizza without an oven in the village of course people do have ovens now in the village um it's not as backward as it used to be but i don't i don't have an oven so i still bake like this and i don't have a problem with it to be quite honest so i brought my cast iron from Joburg. uh hopefully in future i will have a cast iron in this home but for now i bought i i always bring my cast iron and one pan in case i want to make something and i lined it with um paper i lined it with paper baking paper uh i did not have a i don't have a rolling pin here so i didn't make it thin but it's okay if you have a rolling pin kindly do that and also i forgot to bring tomato sauce because that's what i use uh, as my base for my pasta i think you guys know that but luckily i had pasta sauce in the fridge i just defrosted that warmed it and then let it cool and then i added um, about a tablespoon of uh what we call of tomato paste right and then i added half a tablespoon almost three quarter tablespoon of sugar and it wasn't entirely did not entirely taste like tomato sauce but it tasted like tomato sauce if you know what i mean you know so yeah that's what i did and then that's what i used as my base and then i grated cheese and mozzarella onto a uh, grated cheese and mozzarella mixed them together and uh, i also chopped onion and a uh, tomato i took the inside of the tomato outside i took them out i didn't make a fancy pizza just a normal fancy <laughs> just a normal pizza yes that's what i did um and then after lining with cheese and then tomato and onion i also um put the the cheese and mozzarella again so we've had fire going for about an hour i wanted the coal from the from the wood and this is what it has come to and obviously as time went we kept on um making sure that the fire keeps going because we needed a little bit more and then i took the coal out i don't have three feet or three feet that's what we call it three feet drif i don't know what to call it three feet yet i cannot who if you are a donor you know what i'm talking about i cannot yet for now i'm using the the bricks and then there's a coal there under there and then on top uh i'm going to be using i'm just making sure that i'm breaking everything and then on top i'm going to be using the that thing that we put on the from the brass then from my brass then that's what i'm going to be using and then there's me with my pen and then i'm using the lid of a three feet pot if you have that old one the 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 
the black one you can actually use the two lid instead of the the instead of the the pen you can use another lid at the bottom and then with the three feet with my tail of course and then use another one to cover once that is done you still take more coal from there and put it on top as well that's how we bake in the village coal underneath and coal on top it is easier that way and it's not complicated you won't even feel that you need um what we call an oven you can even do your roast chicken you can do anything with this type of uh, a, a, a homemade oven guys as long as you have cast pots you can do anything you can bake you can you can do anything you want with this Voila, this is our pizza after 25 minutes of baking. Um, depending on your coal, if it's, this one was too hot, you can do 20 to 25 minutes. And this is how it looks. Never mind the paper. It doesn't stick, you know okay and this is how it looks guys it tasted amazing it tasted delicious it's pizza same pizza that you buy you don't have to, the the model of the story is that oven or no oven you can make anything you want anything whatsoever you want this is how it is guys can you see can you see how great it looks can you see guys hmm? can you see yes and then i am going to dish that up because this was actually our lunch although i might say it looks a bit more like focaccia than a pizza and the reason for that is that is because I did not have a rolling pin so i could not roll my dough thin thin so it could pass as a focaccia that's homemade focaccia if you were to call it and another thing is that i didn't have enough mozzarella so i had a lot of cheddar but not enough mozzarella but nonetheless it tasted amazing amazing you know that's you know there's no without an oven guys so i decided to show you another method of course my husband was able to lift the lid with the with the wire for me but when i'm alone how we used to do it in back in the days you will actually sweep off the coal from the lid and then you take it out. this is how we used to do it this is how you would do it if you don't have someone with you who can lift it for you and this was our second one isn't it lovely guys no oven it happens without an oven you know so this is how it looks 